Hi everyone, Flora Sage here. Today I wanna to talk with you about goals and manifesting your goals very, very quickly. We talked about this today, or not today, Wednesday actually, um, in the What's Up Wednesday spiritual training that we had inside of the Mastermind Mafia. So, most of us have goals um, who follow me because I have a very dynamic tribe of go-getters. <laughs> and so when you set a goal, typically you can do one of two things, okay? Typically you say, okay, this is what I wanna manifest. This is a goal that I have for my life and for my business. And then you go about forcing your will into your life. You say, okay, I want this, and so you push and push and push and push and push. You you um, use your past knowledge and information to form a plan of action to bring you to creating and getting that goal and manifesting that goal in your life. That's the hard way. <laughs> the other way out of the one of two is to say, okay, this is the goal that I have. This is what I want to manifest in my life. And then stopping for just a moment and say, okay, what is the opportunity in this new goal? What is the opportunity that I bring into my life in wanting this particular thing in my life or in my business or both? And then you see what comes in, okay? Now, the third step, okay, is we take action. So the first thing is we, we set a goal. The second step, you either force your way or you're open to an easier, simpler way. And then the third step is you take action, okay? Now, when you take action from a place of the past, from, well, this is the knowledge that I have, this is, and from that knowledge, this is the plan that I think I should take. That, it's, it's forced, it's hard, it's cumbersome, it's challenging. Usually you don't get the results that you think you should be getting. But when you take action from that spirit-led place where you're like, okay, what's the opportunity here? How can I let this be easy? And then just kind of sitting with it and going, oh, maybe I should call so-and-so, or ooh, maybe I should read this book to get more information. Ooh, maybe I should try this. That just kind of drops in your head and comes out of nowhere. And then you try that and you take action from a spirit-led place, then all of a sudden, it starts to get really fluid. It starts to be easy. You start to manifest things. You start to bring goals to fruition. And all of a sudden, you're like, well, holy hell, I didn't, who knew it was that easy? <laughs> so I want you to look at the number one goal that you have right now in your life and business. And I want you to write it down. So if you have sticky notes, if you have a notebook, I have a notebook here. If you've got a notebook, go ahead and write down your number one goal that you have in your life and or your business, because I know some of you are not in business. That's totally cool. So write down your number one goal. I'll give you just a few seconds. Y'all know how I love to take action right away instead of just presenting a concept and then having you wait. So number one goal right now. And then the next thing I want you to write, number two next to it, is I want you to write down what are the opportunities in this goal, okay? So if you wanna share your goals with me, go ahead, pop them in the comments. If not, that's totally cool. But ask yourself, what is the opportunity in this goal? So let's just say that one of your goals is to be a speaker at an, a local event. Um, maybe it's the um, actual event is going on right now and you're like, yeah, next year, I totally wanna be the speaker here. So what's the opportunity in that? Let's just say that you wanna lose weight. Okay, what's the opportunity in losing two pounds or 10 pounds or 50 pounds? Now, if you wanna lose 50 pounds, I would focus on losing two pounds at a time so you can celebrate those tiny wins. But regardless of what your goal is, ask yourself, what is the opportunity in this goal? How can I allow it to be easy? How can I let spirit flow through me so that this actually works out fluidly and fun and it's just absolutely incredible and amazing <laughs> instead of it being hard, okay? So what is the opportunity and how can I let this be easy? Then, 
What actions can you take today in looking at these opportunities? What actions can you take today to move closer to this goal? I want you to write that down. What actions can you take? And it, focus on one step at a time, one baby step, one action, that one degree shift, that little tiny pivot. One degree, one baby step. What's one step that you can take today that will move you closer to achieving your goal in a spirit-led way? And part of it might be, well, yeah, I've got some knowledge from the past that will help me that all of a sudden you see this bigger picture and you can say, oh, I can do this, 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 and this. Woohoo! And it feels fluid, it doesn't feel hard, it doesn't feel forced, then absolutely go there. But if you create that plan of action and it, you feel dread or you feel overwhelmed or you feel like, oh, I really don't wanna do this. Okay, that's your ego coming in. That is you trying to force a way that's not natural and fluid for you. All right, is this making sense? Let me know if it is. But the key to all of this is when you trust in spirit, when you trust in your high self. So I'm a business coach, okay, and a, a, a spiritual teacher. But I am a firm believer, and y'all have heard me preach and teach about this forever, your personal and spiritual development always impact your business. Whether you are a business owner or not, you all work to get money, okay? So it that directly impacts the work that you put out to the universe. Whether you're bagging groceries or you're a CEO of a company, it does impact your work and your mindset. And so when you, <coughs> excuse me, when you can trust in your goals and say, okay, this is the goal that I've set for myself. Maybe you wanna retire by 65 and you wanna still work for the same company. Okay, cool. So how can you live in a spirit-led way so that you can achieve and accomplish that goal? Well, you've gotta give value, of course, to that company so that they'll retain you for the entire duration of your career, okay? Um, so if you wanna lose weight and your goal is to lose 50 pounds by this time next year, okay, perfect. So usually when people try to lose weight, they go, they go off of, well, I've tried this, 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 and none of it worked. And so they're bringing in all the BS from before, all the weight, all the heaviness, all the energetics of, ugh, I've tried and it didn't work. Okay, well, that's the past. Today's the present, okay? So you can say, perfect. Okay, what's the opportunity in this? What is the opportunity in now me losing 50 pounds in one year? What's the opportunity? That's one pound a week. Perfect, so this month, there's what, three weeks left? I'm gonna focus on losing not 50 pounds, I'm gonna focus on losing three pounds. So what's the first thing that I can do today that will bring me closer to losing the three pounds this month? Not the 50 pounds in a year, but three pounds this month. And you could be open to opportunity. All right, peeps, what's the opportunity in this? How can I let this be easy? You might get an intuitive hit or download of stop eating donuts. Maybe donuts are your food. Maybe that's your thing. That's your jam. You know what I mean? And so you eat donuts every week. Maybe you cut out three donuts and now you just eat one. Whatever. Maybe you stop eating bread in the afternoon. Um, maybe you start walking around the block. But allow yourself to get these intuitive hits, to, to let these things come, let the opportunities present themselves to you and for you so that when you go about creating and actually taking action on these goals, it's more spirit-led, it's more fluid, it's so much easier than what it was before because if you force yourself and you say, well, I have to only eat carbs or I have to only eat protein or I have to only eat this, and it doesn't feel good and it doesn't feel fluid for you, then it's gonna be hard and you're probably gonna fail, honestly. And so give yourself permission to just be really divinely guided and spirit-led in what it is that you're doing and the plan that you're creating for yourself and that action plan, okay? And then just give yourself permission to just take one baby step at a time, that's it. You don't climb Mount Everest in a day, okay? <laughs> Too many steps to take. But you can take one step, and then after you take that one step, you regroup and go, rock on, I'm one step closer to my goal. Perfect. 
celebrate that and then take a second step and then take another step and then take another step and sooner or later you're gonna stop and you're gonna go well I don't think I'm very far to that which I say okay turn around and see how far you come and then you realize wow you know what taking just one baby step at a time actually does bring me closer to my goals in kind of a really fun way so when you only focus on one step at a time that's when you can like accelerate your manifesting and your goal achievement so much faster than if you are to focus on all the steps now should you not create a plan that that actually details all the steps no that's not what I'm saying you absolutely can but after you take a step and then another step and another step maybe you're 20 steps in you realize that maybe you need to pivot or shift your plan go for it and it's gonna be easy because you're just taking one step at a time you're not taking 20 steps at a time see what I'm saying so if you want my help with this, if you want my personal help and personal guidance on where you're at and the goal that you've set for yourself and you want my help in helping you create your plan of action, I have opened up 20 spots. There's actually less than that, but at the beginning of the week, I opened up 20 spots for a free strategy session. Now, the link that I'm going to post below is for a coaching application. It's totally okay, don't freak out. Just fill out the application anyway. What that's gonna do is, is give me some insights into where you are, where you wanna be, a little bit more information about you so that I can best serve you. And then we're gonna jump on the call and you will leave the call with a plan of action. You will leave the call with a clear next step and how you can start to bring your goal into your reality and you can start to manifest the dream life that you've always wanted, okay? So if that sounds like something that you wanna do, click the link below and sign up for your free session. Like I said, this is a free strategy session um, and the link is for the, you know, basically so that you can get in my calendar, all right? This is the only way to get into my calendar for free. <laughs> so, um, ooh, let me plug my phone in. So click the link, sign up. Like I said, this is a coaching application, but that way I can find out information about you so that I can best serve you. Because if I don't find out all this information um, and I make recommendations, it might not serve you or your lifestyle. So I really wanna find out more about you. I don't just want to find out just some of the surface steps. I wanna kinda dig a little bit deeper. I'm here to serve you. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know I am here to be of service. And I am here to help you get what you want. I'm here to help you gain clarity and what it is that you want to do and then in that clarity what's gonna happen is you're gonna find the courage to take that next step forward then as you take each step forward what's gonna happen is you're gonna gain so much more confidence and then you're just gonna take everything and just run with it which is super freaking exciting <laughs> so click the link below get your spot, save your spot in my calendar. I've got spots available next Wednesday. Tuesday and Thursday are already booked up. I also have spots the next week available on Tuesday, Thursday. So make sure that you click the link, grab your spot in my calendar before they fill up. And I cannot wait, I cannot wait to speak with you very, very soon. And I hope that this serves you. Please like, comment, and share this. Um, share this with anyone who you feel might benefit from this particular goal setting process and tag your friends below to kind of bring them in if you don't want to share it on their page. So I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day and I will speak with you very soon on the phone. Mwah. Bye.